Tiny, I see you found some kids and some fish. They look pretty healthy. Yes, they are, Todd. They're looking really good. These fish have come from a reputable dealer, one with a licence. And if you look at these fish, they're swimming uh, healthily. They've got lots and lots of oxygen in there. The bay's got one third water, two thirds oxygen. Mm -hmm. And that's the way you should receive your fish packed like this. Mm. this they, really... they need to be acclimatised, do they? They do need to be acclimatised. And these fish have been in this bag, in the water, for about uh, 20 minutes. Let's get them out. Let's do it. All right. Emily and Saffron doing a great job here. And goodbye, fishies. Where they go? Lots and lots of oxygen going in by this Venturi system. This is very important for the fish, the plants, as well as the bacteria. It all depends upon oxygen. All in all, it's a healthy system. Absolutely. It's important that we get the water conditions just right for the fish. The kids are doing a pH test, and ideally we're looking for a pH of seven. And Maurice, we're going to be checking for other factors, things like ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite levels. But one of the most important things is adding bacteria to the water and getting it off to a nice, healthy start. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Getting the bacteria in the, in the system helps break down the ammonia to nitrites, and then the secondary bacteria breaks it down to nitrate. So we'll quite simply take some pond bacteria, a, sp a spoonful of that, in some water as a premix, give it a bit of a stir. And we're looking for those nitrates because they're what actually feeds our plants. The plants then clean that water and put it back into the system, making it nice and healthy for the fish. You can pull that one in if you like now. That'll dissolve nicely. Excellent. So the bacteria is in there now, Steve. So the fish are going to be healthy once that goes, uh, recirculates throughout the system. Uh, the only thing, like you said, we've just got to check for ammonia spikes. So we use a simple night ammonia test kit, and that's the, the most fundamental thing to get right. Um, and then secondarily, we've got a nitrite test kit and a nitrate test kit, and they're all available through aquaponics. Mm -hmm.